Charlie Allred here, the healthy diabetic, and I am so excited. I am going to be cooking for the first time, get excited, zucchini enchiladas. So it's basically low carb enchiladas. I'm really excited about it. Um, we have a ton of zucchini growing in our garden right now, like a ton. So I'm trying to come up with all these ways to use the zucchini without just roasting it or boiling it or, you know, eating it you know, plain. So I'm looking for low carb ways to use my zucchini in place of lots of things. So today I got a new mandolin. Yay, I've never had one. I was always worried I'd cut my finger off, but I bought one. It came with a guard to hold the zucchini, so I cut the zucchini with ground turkey. So I probably should have turned this on first to start, but I didn't, oh well. Um, and what I'm gonna do is usually when I cook up my ground turkey, I would add salsa as a flavoring, just because then taco meat, I mean, you don't need much flavor if you add a little salsa, a few spices, call it good, right? But today I don't want my meat to be that wet because I'm using zucchini, which has plenty of water already. So I want it to be dry. So I'm gonna use some dry spices when I cook my turkey up. So I do have generic taco seasoning. You could make your own with chili powder, cumin, onion, garlic. You could you know, make it up if you really want to. Um, I happen to have this, so I'm gonna use it. I have, I like a little bit more cumin. So I have ground cumin, I'm gonna throw that in there. And um, I don't know if you know this story or not, but my husband hates onions. I like to add onions to everything for flavor. Um, but if I dice them, he finds them. I could grate them, I guess, but I'm kind of lazy. So um, I buy this granulated onion. Dun, 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 dun. Don't really wanna show brands all the time, but sometimes you do. Um, so I buy the granulated onion and it kind of plumps up a little, adds flavor, it's delicious, um, and nobody's the wiser. And I don't have to cut an onion and cry, right? So that works pretty well. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by throwing my turkey in the pan. And in theory, your pan would be hot, right? Oh, I hear a sizzle, okay, it's getting hot. Hot pan, we got turkey. I'm going to grab a wooden spoon here. All right, so wooden spoon. I'm just gonna start by browning it on its own. I'm using a non-stick skillet, right? So um, I'm just gonna let it brown up a little before I start adding the spices. So um, again, just ground, ground turkey right out of the package. One of the things that I really like about ground turkey is that it's very inexpensive and it's lean and it's easy to make. And you can make it into any flavor you want, right? So um, I usually stock up, my grocery store has ground turkey on sale probably every other week for about $3 a pound, which that's a great deal, I think. Um, it's not, you know, red meat, so that's good, better for you, obviously, right? Ground turkey. Um, so I, I stock up on it. So for, for $3, I'm making dinner. I have a zucchini from my garden and a few spices, and you'll see some cheese. Um, so I can't imagine that this dinner costs more than $10 for our whole family. All right, so the so meat is about done. I'm just breaking it up into smaller chunks here. Okay, yay, I have my ground turkey going and it's about done. So now I'm gonna add my spices. Now if you have any, um, sometimes what'll happen is there'll be a little bit of liquid on the bottom of the pan. If there's any liquid at all, just you know wipe it out with a paper towel or drain it out. Um, not really that big of a deal. So you can drain it or sop it out. You don't want much liquid because zucchini will let off water when it cooks. So um, you don't wanna have a soupy mess. It'll still taste delicious, but you don't want it to be soupy right? Um, it makes it harder to scoop. So I'm going to start adding my spices. I am going to add about a tablespoon of granulated onion. Sprinkle that in there. And then I'm going to add about a hmm, half a tablespoon of cumin. And again, if you want to make your own seasoning, you can. You can use cumin and chili powder and even cayenne if you like things spicy. Um, I have a family to feed, so I am not gonna make mine spicy. And then I'm just gonna put taco seasoning on it. And I'm, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon and see what the color looks like. Um, I like to gauge this by the color, but I have a feeling that I'll need more. Yeah, I do. All right, so probably two to three tablespoons, depending on your your family's um, liking for taco flavor in them. So that's what it looks like. Right, meat's nice. To assemble our zucchini enchiladas, and I keep saying this, I almost say zucchini lasagna every time, but zucchini enchiladas. So we have low carb enchiladas. That's what we're doing here, right? So um, I'm gonna start first off, I used a mandolin to cut my zucchini. So this is a zucchini for my garden, and this is only half of it. So we had another, this much at least, it was huge. Um, so what I did is I cut it in half this way and used the other half. 
but then I also cut it lengthwise and then use the mandolin to cut nice thin slices. So let's see. So this is the second thickness of the mandolin. So see how they stay together really well? It's, it's a little thicker. Um, I think it said it was maybe two millimeters, two and a half millimeters. Um, maybe it's three actually. So let's just say it's three millimeters. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do for this is use these thicker pieces that are all together on the bottom of my enchilada. So it's gonna be like an enchilada casserole because then this will be like a lovely base at the bottom, almost like a pie crust. So when you cut into it, you know you've hit the bottom basically, right? So there we go. All right, so I have one layer. You can see them in there. And it depends how you cut them and how they would fit in your pan. It kind of just worked out that they fit in my pan this way. Um, so I did a layer of zucchini, right? Now I'll do a layer of turkey taco meat. Well, I got one whole layer of taco meat in there and it's steaming. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so then I'm going to use my thinner pieces for my next layer. Um, well, actually, I lied. Just kidding. Then I'm going to add cheese. I have a mixture of a white and cheddar cheese. Um, and the white is Monterey Jack, and then I have cheddar. And this is what I had in my fridge. So use whatever cheese you have. Nobody says you have to use a certain cheese, right? Um, if I had had a Mexican blend, I would have used that, but I didn't. So I'm going to do some cheese here. Now, if you are low sodium, if you're on a low sodium diet, in addition to low carb, I would suggest buying low sodium cheese. They make tons of no fat cheeses if you have any heart issues going on. Um, so yeah, so tons of cheese options. Pick the one you like most. Make sure it melts decently. Um, you could even use a non-dairy cheese if you're dairy free, right? There's tons of options. All right, so I have a layer of cheese on top of my meat now. Next, now this is kind of like a, this ingredient could go really well or it could go really poorly. You could use cream cheese, right? I didn't have cream cheese. I had some ricotta in my fridge already. So I am going to use ricotta. Now getting the ricotta to spread out is going to be a challenge, I'm sure, right? But I think this might give the, the, um, the enchilada casserole, the low carb enchilada casserole, it might give it some actual, um, some actual like strength like it'll keep it together maybe more than just a regular cheese was. That okay, so my ricotta layer is now on there and I'm gonna show you, it's not the prettiest layer, but you can see it's on there, it's all white. Um, and it, it's some of my meat and other cheese kind of mixed in, but that's okay, no big deal, right? All right, so second layer of zucchini here. For the first time, I'm gonna use the super thin. So my mandolin made these super thin pieces, which are really great, right? For, this is the first time I'm making this. So hopefully it turns out, Pretty delicious. I'm sure with all these flavors, it has to be pretty good, right? All right, so second layer of meat. Here we go. So then cheese, right? Cheese. And I'm not gonna use a second ricotta layer this time. Number one, I'm running out of room in my pan. And number two, I only had a little bit of ricotta, so I'm using what I had. So there's my cheese. Then I'm gonna go back to, now this is actually the second time, I'm gonna go back to the super thin zucchini slices. Right? So here they are. Some of them are, oh look, this one, oh no. Just kidding, it's two pieces. I don't think it was the same one. Ooh, so when there's no seeds, they're even better. All right, so that's what that looks like. I kind of just threw the zucchini on there. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, I threw the zucchini on top, super thin layers. Worked out pretty well. All right, so next I'm gonna use some sauce. So I haven't added any liquid yet, right? So it's all pretty, I'll let off a little water, right? And so I am using an enchilada sauce, and this one's green, because I think my kids might eat green enchilada sauce. That's the goal, it's mild. You could use red, you could use a mixture if you wanted, and I am adding liquid. So with the, with the green sauce, my green sauce is moving around, finding a home, right? Okay, lastly, I'm gonna add some cheese to the top. I'm back, yay, and our zucchini enchilada casserole is out of the oven. Here it is. I'm gonna show you it right now because it's bubbling and it looks delicious. Are you ready? ta -da! Do you see the bubbling? It's amazing. So excited. Now I'm gonna let it, oh. Now I'm gonna let it cool before I start to cut it and try to keep the pieces together as pieces. And not cool like cold, but if it's this hot, it's gonna be soupy. So it kinda needs to be just warm enough that it'll kinda stay together when I cut it into nice squares and serve it to my family. So I'm so excited. I hope you like this recipe too. 
for your family. This is zucchini enchilada casserole. And I am Charlie Allred. Please subscribe to my channel below if you like this video and you wanna eat low carb and be your healthiest diabetic self. All right, see you next time, bye.